Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where we do painting tutorials. Today I thought I'd do a little uh, winter scenery slash landscape since uh, we're almost midway through November and yeah, we're well into winter. So I start by taping down my paper with masking tape so it stays flat as I paint and I start coloring the middle of the page with some ultramarine blue. I start with barely any pressure and then use more and more pressure as I move upwards. That way I get a nice gradient as you can tell on the sky that I'm viewing on my smartphone because that is the reference picture. Then I activate with my watercolor brush going left to right, right to left horizontally. I repeat this about three times just to make sure it's uh, extra smooth and also I use a bit more water than usual that way I can pick up the excess water and pigments with my tissue and get these very soft clouds. I just crumple my tissue and gently press it against the wet background and that gives me some instant clouds. Once dry, I sketch some mountains with light ultramarine. The one I used for the sky is normal ultramarine and this is slightly lighter. So I just sketch some random uh, zigzag shapes and roughly color them in. I'm going to make on the left side of each mountain a bit darker with more ultramarine and light ultramarine and I'm going to leave little white blank spots on the right side of each mountain that way it's going to look like leftover snow that has not yet melted. So I just did a base layer with light ultramarine, I'm going to cover the left side with normal ultramarine and leave those blank spots on the right side. You can obviously use any light and dark blue, I just chose these two because they look um, the most natural to me, they look like um, they're best suited for landscapes and that's why I usually opt to use them whenever I'm painting some nature sceneries. Then I activate them with a scribble motion going from light to dark with my watercolor brush. I start from the light ultramarine towards the dark ultramarine and I leave those empty spaces. I do not go over them, I want them to be white. And I'm going to try to use the white of the paper as much as possible throughout this painting because uh, it's already white and snow is white so it's just going to make life a bit simpler for this one. Then I take some light ultramarine and I do some random horizontal scribbles underneath the mountains because snow and snowy fields usually have those hints of blue to them and I'm very lightly going to diffuse that into the white with my watercolor brush. Then for the foreground, again, I take my light ultramarine, that is what I'm going to use to add the those blue hints, those shadows to the snow for the area closest to us as viewer. And I do some random doodles to get uh, some shadows of the trees I'm going to do in a minute. If drawing is not your thing, you can find a traceable to this and many other tutorials over at my Patreon page, Sunshine Arts. And like always, you can find a full list of all of the supplies used down in the description box, along with a link to the reference picture you saw me viewing on my smartphone. A little tip, when I tackle a specific area, let's say that house or the mountains, before I start working on it, I erase my pencil sketch, that way I don't get black lines showing through the snow because black lines and snow don't really go hand in hand. I use earthy colors to color uh, my house, I use some yellow ochre, Venetian red, some raw umber, just whatever I have in my set, any brands will do. I just like to gather them up so I don't get one solid block of color. I want it to have random hints of color and not just be one solid block. I activate the blue on the snow. It actually looks a bit like a big A layer laid down projected onto the ground, if that helps. And I 
and a very small hint of blue to the roof of the house because I want it to look like it has tons of snow piled up on top and I add that little hint for a shadow. Then I take my black, I've sharpened it to a very fine point and I start sketching some trees. I do a straight line and then I scribble tiny tiny horizontal lines up popping from the tree in either direction. I keep them tinier at the top and then wider and wider as I reach the bottom. I'm just going to do some dried up trees for this one. I didn't want to go with evergreens because then your eyes will only focus on those and it wouldn't really look balanced with the snow so I chose to go with this type of trees. I'm just doing very tiny doodles in the middle for some tiny tiny trees up in the distance and I do a couple of bigger ones right behind the house and again I do these tiny wobbly lines coming out of them for tree branches. Just one to the left, one to the right, another one to the left etc. Then I do a very big tree on the left side, reaching almost for the top of the sky, and again I add some branches to it. I go back to the roof and add a bit of ultramarine and I outline uh, where the snow on the roof ends with some walnut brown that is my darkest brown and I also use it to outline the walls of the house. Then I take some light ultramarine and very lightly go under those tiny trees. I'm not going to activate that, I just want for some extra texture. And lastly I go back to my big tree on the left side and I thought I'd also add the trunk to the frame. So I add a very skinny line of it peeking into the frame and I leave an empty gap and then I add some blue that way it looks like the trunk, the bottom of the trunk is covered with snow. And I proceed to take off the tape. I'd like to give a very special thank you to my patrons for the month of November. And thank you all for watching. If you found any use or value in this video, please let me know by liking, commenting. And if you have not already, please consider subscribing to my channel. I'm currently trying to reach 20,000 subscribers and it would really mean a lot to me. We will see each other in the next video. Bye bye.